Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Afternoon everyone. I've got my uh, dream line today. Compact Tactical 177. Shooting on the squirrels, hopefully. Um, I set the feeder up a week ago. Got here today and it's completely empty. Even though it holds about two kilos of peanuts. They've chewed the bottom of it. So they've completely emptied it. So there's, I think there's more squirrels about than I thought. So I've just refilled it 20 yards away. Got set up. Bit of a cover. Just laying on the grass on my bag. I'm using... Um, exact express which seem to shoot really accurately and a few people have told me that they shoot really well against small vermin because because they're a thinner pellet at high speed they actually expand and deform quite a lot rather than a heavy one and the beans i'm in it 20 yards anyway and um, there should be quite a bit of a lick to them still when they get there because they shoot over 800 feet per second um so hopefully I might have a few turn up. I've just seen one in the tree above me, actually. So hopefully I'll remember about the peanuts and not have to find it all over again. So let's see how we go. There's also part of this land is owned by a farmer. So if a, he's asked me about wood pigeons and jackdaws and things. He says, if you see any in his trees, then um, he's asked me to take them. Uh, because obviously it's got crops just the other side so okay I'll crack on now see how I get on see if I can get any today I might have to just maybe get one or two and return another day I have to come back midweek and fill it obviously seven days is too long so I might have to come back Wednesday and uh, give it another go it's Sunday Sunday today so I've got the 4k x site on as well on the on the dream line all right, okay, I'll see enough chatting. Let's see how we do. Speak to you in a bit. Bye. Well, this was a squirrel feeder when I'd left it um, about a week before, full to the brim. It's about two foot tall. And when I came back, other than all the peanuts you see there, it was completely empty and chewed to buggery. So I refilled it, went and got myself in position, and this is how it went. I had to wait quite a while for the first one to arrive, uh, 20 past 5, I think I'd been there probably an hour and a half by then to be honest, um, but here we are, obviously remembered where the food was, spotted it from the tree, that's why I left some out on the uh, on the side so it could see them, comes down, picks a peanut up, sits up, that's the thing I like about the peanuts, takes them probably 20 seconds to eat one gives you a nice uh, nice time window to deal with them and that's straight between the ears straight through to the brain lights out second one much the same I spotted him in the tree above started tracking him down sort of looking a bit jittery to the one on the floor which is directly below him shall I have a look? nah I'll have a peanut so once again same as the first shot certainly a peanut just above the eye remember to take the safety off as you can see you get plenty of time perfectly still head which is what you need so it's quite a small target squirrel's brain a little bit of bouncing about and it's all over and I spotted just to my right in a small tree and you can just make it out on this um, screen you can see the actual body and head of the squirrel, but I was looking sort of towards a bright background and I couldn't see it through my excite screen. What I could see though was the head silhouette. So I just held over slightly, 
plonked it one and down it fell. Bounced around for a few seconds and then that was it. So that was the three. I had to um, get packed up because the storm arrived. I'd left the windows down on the car so I drove home sitting on a carrier bag. Only just made it back actually. I know it looks like bright sunshine there but it was a torrential downpour. Okay, back on the squirrels again tonight. Uh, it's about six o'clock. I've just come back to feed the feed, uh, fill the feeder up. Uh, it's completely empty again. It's only been six days. So there was two running about on the grass when I got here. One ran up the tree where the feeder is. So I got round as quick as I can and got set up 20 yards away. Um, hopefully, bag a few more. Got three in the last video. So I'm hoping to get a few tonight and be here for a few hours because it's gorgeous. It's Wednesday the uh, 24th, Wednesday the 24th of June and obviously if you know it's like 30 degrees today so even now it's got to be 25, 26 degrees so I'll quite happily sit here all night but squirrels are after and hopefully one or two will make an appearance on the feeder I've scattered some peanuts about on top of a log that's 20 yards away as well hopefully will catch your attention okay, see how we're getting Obviously this squirrel's not on drugs or anything, but what I did do was sped this bit up because I saw the squirrel coming from the right along the grass and I thought great here he comes over to the feeder but no because I'd spilt a few peanuts on the floor it decided to do a bit of housekeeping picking up the peanuts and uh, running around and burying them in the grass so every time I thought I could get a bit of an aim on and just take it it um, was twitching and moving about so as you'll know squirrels are notorious for short sharp head movements so you need to make sure you're on target so I sat and followed him around for about 10 minutes and uh, I don't know how he managed to dig that grass because it had been baking in the sun for days it, like, it was like laying on concrete so we can't have dug them very far in so, I mean, at that point there, it was only about eight or nine yards in front of me. So it keeps going back and back and back, picking up the uh, peanuts, burying them. Can't get a good shot on it. So I'm just keeping my eye up the tree in case one turns up. There we go. Over there. And he's backward and forward. And picked another one up. I'm going to bury it over there. I don't know how to remember where they all are. Unless you just go by scent, which is must mean that most of the other squirrels come along and dig them up as well. So I'm just looking to my right now. <laughs> I think you just saw me then when it stood up on end. So I gave up anyway after a while, I'm bored of that, and then I noticed up the tree one arrives which is a bit more uh, squirrel like in its behaviour straight for the peanuts first it gives me a nice uh, clean aim point down it goes I'm just watching the other one now because the other one had gone over to the right hand side on the uh, grass and was bolted up the tree I'm just watching it that one's just kicking away now on the floor But he runs up the tree and doesn't come back down for a while. Now there's that one. That's the tail of it there, dead. So I'm watching him again. He come back down the tree and carried on doing what he did before. Round and round and round. Getting a bit fed up with this now, to be honest. I haven't seen him eat a peanut in the last hour. Probably the one that emptied it. But we've definitely got an investor here. Jumps upon the log as I lay down, thinks about it. Goes to that hole. And back around the tree. 
<sighs> Come on. Come on. I'm just keeping on the feeder in case another one turns up. As you can see by now, it's nearly ten past seven. I'm thinking that it's probably getting a bit too late in the day now. And he comes back. And then gets to the hole. And something makes it jump. I don't know what's in there. Something upset it. I never did go and have a look. It certainly uh, wanted to go back and see what had gone off in that hole. Something in there looking at it. Something made it jump or a smell or something. Uh, definitely not happy. Oh, come on, I just need you to sit and eat a peanut. Just sit still long enough. See, it's got a few in its mouth. Oh, just have one. Yeah, every time it stops, I think I'm going to pull the trigger. Probably should have done it there, but it's just watching the twitch. There we go. Right, now you're eating one. That gives me enough time. And it's out. Finally, finally got it. Bit of kicking and the bouncing, as they do. It's just the back legs going, which I know is, means it's connected to the brain, like it does with rabbits. And a few more kicks and then it's all over. So I'm back to watching the uh, feeder now, and I can hear one in the tree barking away. I couldn't see it at first. And I saw it run down and towards the feeder and stop, and it's really agitated. It's clearly seen the one on the floor get shot because it started barking as soon as I shot the other one. Probably just couldn't understand its behaviour. Uh, once again I'm just looking for the twitchy head movements. You just can't seem to just get enough time with the crosshairs on. Really not happy is it? Come on down. Come and have a never mind them, come and have a peanut. Make everything better. Like a cup of tea for squirrels. I'm just thinking if it stays long enough I'm gonna have him. But it's just those little tiny head movements every time. You know very well he's gonna move his head just as I pull the trigger. And I don't wanna just take his ear off and have him run away and die somewhere over in three or four days. We need to be here and uh, do things properly. I mean, even even if it meant the fact a squirrel got away, I'm sure he'll be back another day. There's just too many head movements there. He's just deciding whether to have a peanut or go and investigate, and he's completely torn. Go on, go and have a peanut. They're all right. They're just stun bathing. Go on, go have a peanut. Go on, you know you want one. Oh, he's completely. T he just don't know what to do. I, d I don't know what to do. Go on, go on, have one. Go on. Once again, just the head movement, you see. Go on. You know you did. Don't go back up the tree. Have a peanut. Go on. That's it. Go on. Go and have a peanut. Look how nice they are. Quick, get one before them ones on the floor wake up. 
Go on, you know you want one. That's it, just the one. Come on, now go and sit on the roof. There we are, that's better. Perfect. Straight between the eyes. You see the blood dripping out of the forehead. Pellet basically goes through the dot on the cross here with this rifle. At 20 yards it's it's easy. It's just point and click. Not a lot of movement at all there. Just a few kicks and it's all over. So that was another three. A long winded, drawn out patience exercise. But it's paid off in the end. So I filled up the feeder again and called it a day. And there they are, there's the three with the Dreamline Compact. That's six in a few in about a week or so. As it's technically somebody's garden, it's best to just stay for a couple of hours at a time anyway, so two or three on every visit soon adds up in the long run. Okay, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.